Hello and welcome. Today we will see how to create an assigned test to students. Now as a faculty I will assign a test for students. Click on login. Click and enter your email ID. Click and enter your password. Click on login. Now you are successfully logged in. Make sure that you are in college group to create and assign test to your students. If not then select group in which you want to create and assign test. There is a test setting title. Under test setting there are three tabs. One is topic test. Second is subject test and third is mock test. If you want to conduct test on a particular topic then you select topic test. If you want to conduct test subject wise then select subject test. If you want to conduct test on multiple subjects then select mock test. Now we will conduct a subject wise test so select subject test. In each test there are two ways to create a test. One is manual test and second is random test. Manual test means a test in which you have to select a set of questions and the same set of questions is assigned to all students. In this manual subject test, you can create the test manually by choosing the questions from various topics and the same subject. In random test setting you can define only the number of questions for test. Computer will automatically fetch that much questions for test. In this case every student will get different set of questions in their test. Now we will assign manual subject wise test to student. So click on manual. There are two sections. One is general aptitude. If you want to set a test on general aptitude, select general aptitude section. And second is your branch that is mechanical engineering. We will set manual subject test on mechanical engineering section. Now in mechanical engineering, select subject on which you want to take a test. Here you can choose only one subject at a time. If you want to choose multiple subjects for test then you should take mock test. Here all subject list is displayed. You can choose the subject on which you want to conduct a test. Under select topic, all topics arises from the subject you have chosen. You can select multiple topics for one test. Now click on select topic tab. Choose the topic from drop down list on which you want to select questions. Click on any mark tab which filters the questions mark wise. If you select one mark then only questions of one mark will be displayed. Select one mark to choose questions having one marks for the test. If you select two mark. Then only questions of 2 marks will be displayed. Select 2 marks to choose questions having 2 marks for the test. When we select any mark then all questions having 1 mark or 2 mark will be displayed. Now we will select questions. Now click on all questions tab. Under all questions tab, there is a drop down list containing all questions. College admin, gate tutor, only for test and added by you. If you select college admin. Then the questions added by college admin that means questions added by all the faculties of your college will be displayed. If you select gate tutor, then the questions given by gate tutor will be displayed. If you select only for test, then the questions displayed are added by you, which are set as show only for test. If you select added by you. Then the questions added and uploaded by you only displayed. When you select all questions, the questions displayed which are given by gate tutor and added by faculties also. Now we will select questions from all questions. Now click on select question checkbox to select displayed question for test. Then click the next button to move for next question. If you want to choose second question for test, then select checkbox. Now move to next question. If you want to move for first question then click the button. Then you will be on first question. If you want to move for last question then click the button. Now you will be on last question. Now I will move to first question. As this question is selected for test. Go to second question. This question is also selected for test. Go to third question. Now select the third question. This is also selected question. 
so we will move to next question select the fourth question for test next like this we will select 10 questions for the test as you have set 10 questions so your selection of questions process is completed now click on ok to complete the question selection process to see the answer and explanation of the question click on explanation button this is the explanation of answer for question displayed on the screen likewise you can see explanations for all questions before selecting that question for the test now close this is the number of questions of the test here only you can set number of questions of your test then you can set time duration of your test time is the time duration given to students to solve the test set time in minutes only here select the date and time when your test will start make sure that date and time you are selecting is always greater than current date and time you can select end date and time for test means after end date test will be expired and after that student cannot give the test by using this valid time period of the test you can set any number of tests in advance note valid time period and time duration is different in a valid time period students can attempt a test any time for a particular time duration set for the test click on enable if you want only to create a test but later on doing some changes you want to assign a test in that case keep it as disable if you want to assign as soon as test is created make test as enable if you want to apply negative marking for the test then click the check box if you don't want negative marking then uncheck to preview and see the questions which are selected for the test click on preview these are the questions which you selected for the test you can remove a question if you want to change that question if you want click on explanation to see answer and explanation of the question this is the explanation click on close now close the preview click to enter test name here enter test name as we completed the process to set the test now click on create your manual subject test created successfully click on close after creating new test that will appear in the list of tests to see that test click on view created test in the list of tests there is a action column under action there are three icons first is edit if you want to change something then click on edit then another icon is to delete if you want to delete the test permanently click on delete and last is assign to to assign the test click on assign to if you want to assign test only to students then click on students radio button then the list of students will displayed which are registered under your institute if you create a test in other groups which are created under your institute then the list of students from the same group will be displayed to assign tests if you create a test in your personal group then the list displayed is of your friends if you want to assign test only to faculty then select on admins or faculty then the list of faculty will be displayed which are registered under your institute click on admins or faculty if you want to assign test to both student as well as faculty then click on both if you want to assign the test to particular student then type the name of the student when you start typing the name the list of students it gets automatically filter click on check box now we will assign this test to the students now click the check boxes whom you want to assign test select all if want to assign test to all students now click on assign your test is successfully assigned to selected students click on close click on back button to move back you can see your test here then click on back we will see now the test appeared on students timeline by login with students account now we will log in as a student
Click on Login. Click and enter student's email ID and password. Click on Login. Now you are on student's timeline. When you assign test to the student, the test displayed on timeline as well as in test center. You can see here test is arrived, and as it is green play button means you can attempt this test now. For upcoming test the button color is purple and when test get expired then the button color will be red. Also you can see the test, in test center. Click on test center. As we set test as subject test, click on subject test. From here also student can start the test. Now we will see how to create and assign random subject tests to students. Now as a faculty I will log in. Click and enter your email ID. Click and enter your password. Click on login. Now you are successfully logged in. Make sure that you are in college group to create and assign test to your students. If not then select group in which you want to create and assign test. To set random subject test move on test setting. Click on subject test. Select random. As we are creating a test which will fetch questions automatically. There are two sections given one is general aptitude and second is your branch that is mechanical engineering. Click on select subject and select the subject from drop down list on which you want to conduct the test. Then you can set time duration of your test. Time is the time duration given to students to solve the test. Set time in minutes only. Click on total marks and set total marks for test. Here select the date and time when your test will start. Make sure that date and time you are selecting is always greater than current date and time. You can select end date and time for test. Means, after end date test will be expired and after that student cannot give the test. By using this valid time period of the test, you can set any number of tests in advance. Note, valid time period and time duration is different. In a valid time period student can attempt a test any time for a particular time duration set for the test. Click and select number of questions of 1 mark for test. Click to choose number of questions of 2 mark for test. Enter name of the test. If you want only to create a test, but later on doing some changes, you want to assign a test. In that case keep it as disable. Now click on create to create the test. Random subject test created successfully. So click on close. Now see created test at bottom of the screen. In the list of tests there is a action column. Under action there are three icons. First is edit. If you want to change something then click on edit. Then another icon is to delete. If you want to delete the test permanently click on delete. And last is assign to. To assign the test click on assign to. If you want to assign test only to students then click on students radio button. Then the list of students will displayed which are registered under your institute. If you create a test in other groups which are created under your institute. Then the list of students from the same group will be displayed to assign tests. If you create a test in your personal group then the list displayed is of your friends. If you want to assign test only to faculty then select on admins or faculty. Then the list of faculty will be displayed which are registered under your institute. Click on admins or faculty. Click on both and assign test to both student as well as faculty. If you want to assign the test to particular student then type the name of the student. When you start typing the name the list of students it gets automatically filter. Click on checkbox. Now we will assign this test to the students. Now click the checkbox whom you want to assign test. Select all. If want to assign test to all students, click on assign to assign the test. Now your test is successfully assigned to selected students. Click on close. Click on back button to move back. Now we will go on student login to see the assigned test. Now we will log in as a student. Click on login. Click and enter student's email ID and password. Click on login. 
Now you are on student's timeline. When you assign test to the student, the test displayed on timeline as well as in test center. You can see here test is arrived, and as it is purple play button means start date and time is yet not arrived, you cannot give this test now. When button color will change to green then only you can attempt the test. And the button color is red, that means test is expired, as test is not given by student in the valid time period. You can also see the test from test center, as we set test as subject test. Click on subject test. This is your test from here also you can give the test. As play button is purple, test is arriving. Thank you, be associate with gate tutor. And by this way you can conduct unlimited tests from second year itself for getting better result in gate examination. Practice is the only way to become perfect. Happy gate tutoring.